Hey everybody, good morning. We are back and we are having an arty party today talking about glam. This comes from this. We're gonna show you how that happens live and local coming up next. Money on clothes when you can just paint an outfit on, Craig? That's the big question, yes. <laughs> and right now, Laura McDonald, live and local at the gallery below in Old Colorado City, learning all you need is paint and a brush. Lauren, good morning. Got a red solo cup? Well, we're going to show you what's up. Check it out. This dress right here made completely of solo cups. They're not red, but man, are they stylish. And a paper plate. And you know what, April? It is Earth Month, and what better time to recycle than right now, live and local at the gallery below here with John Bataille. You are, you, you run this place, right? That's so tell everybody where you are, because it took me a second to find it this morning, right? Yeah, yeah, we're a little bit in the cut. Uh, we're located behind Weber Street Liquors and uh, Pins and Needles Tattoo Shop. We're owned by Pins and Needles Tattoo Shop, and we're located in the parking lot in the back. Very cool, and kind of tell everybody what you do here. We've got a lot going on this morning, right? Yeah, yeah, so we're a community gallery. We're committed to, sh to showcasing local artists. We've got the m current show up now. We also do monthly art events. So mm -hmm. part of what Arty Party is, it's a monthly event going on each month at the end of the month mm -hmm. and uh, where we set out lots of art supplies and people can come and make art and they could create whatever they want. We have a theme each month. Uh, this current theme, this current month's theme is trash fashion. Mm -hmm. So taking recycled items and making it into glamorous new products. Right. I love it. We're going to work on a piece later on this morning and we're going to meet all these artists in a little bit, but I just, I mean, it's amazing what you can create from a little bit of trash, right? Exactly, exactly. And that's the great part about our art party. We set up tons of art supplies, mm -hmm. and you can make whatever you want and, and create a dress out of cups. There you go. Yeah. And I love it. I would wear this. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay, so tell everybody where this party is, when, and how they can get involved. Okay, so the party is, look, it is at the social on mm -hmm. April 24th at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. the social 719. There you go. And if people want to come, they can buy tickets? They can buy tickets at the door. They can buy tickets online. You can go to our Facebook page, Scrap the Runway. Mm -hmm. um, they can find the link there. You can find us from the gallery page. There's a link there. Or the social page. There you go. Eliminating waste and turning waste into good taste, right? I love it. We are live and local here at the gallery below all morning. Going to make some fashionable items out of trash. We're going to work on a, a dress pretty soon, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, some body painting going to happen. Ooh. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, many, so many things. Yes. I'm excited. Lauren, thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye, four. Good morning, everybody, from Van Gogh to a Buffalo. We are highlighting all the art in the Pikes Peak region, getting ready for an arty party that you do not want to miss. We'll tell you all about it coming up next. The Pikes Peak region supporting art in the form of painting, sketching, sculpting, and so much more. Yeah, this morning we celebrate art in all forms. And right now, Laura McDonald, live and local at Old Colorado City at the gallery below, showing us all this good stuff. Lauren, good morning. Craigers, check it. Are you ready? Yeah. You need to get a sitter and grab your litter because there is an arty <laughs> party happening <laughs> the end of this month, and we are turning trash into fashion. And that's what we're doing this morning here with John. You are the manager at the gallery below. We are live and local, checking it all out. You're giving us a great preview. But the gallery below is really a space where you host all kinds of artists from the Pikes Peak region, right? Yeah. We are a community gallery. We're here to showcase all members of the community. And any underserved artists can come here and showcase their art. Okay, very cool. And then we have Tim Furlow. You're actually, your art is going to be on display here next month, right? Yes, ma'am. The opening is going to be May 4th from 6 to 9 p.m. Very cool. So this is a buffalo, right? Yes, ma'am. I love it. And tell everybody kind of how, how you create this. First, it's an abstract painting, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so I start with an abstract piece, and once I'm happy with that, then I go over the top of that. And just really the effect is to make it look like I've just laid a sticker over the top of it. So you've got uh, five to six coats of white there before I start doing any actual painting. And then everything else is just laid over the top, one dot at a time, with a very, very tiny brush. Very cool. You have been creating since you were two years old. Yes, ma'am. So created to create, right? That's it. I That's love it. it. You have it. Uh, pieces in Denver. You are going to have your a uh, display here yes, at the gallery below, and you also have pieces international. Yes, ma'am. Right? I've got a piece in Australia. I've got a lot of followers in the UK. Um, 
really quite a, quite a few different locations around the world. Very cool. And if people want to get up with you and see more of your art, how can they do that? It's all about social media. So uh, Tim Furlow Fine Art, if you're on uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. or excuse me, on uh, Instagram or Facebook, Tim Furlow Art on Twitter. Gotta love the gram. And make sure you guys check him out. Tim Furlow. I love how it's so many little dots. Very soothing to watch. <laughs> As I said, we got a big arty party coming up. We're turning trash into fashion. We're going to highlight that more all morning. Got some live body painting. You are not going to want to miss that. But like I said, grab the sitter and your litter. Time. It's time. I'm going to, yeah, get the sitter, drop my litter, grab the glitter, and make a critter. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> Getting crafty. You like that? Getting like. crafty with Elmac. I love that was it. Good. All good right. Stuff. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. She inspires me. <laughs> yes. Six twenty. Hey, everybody. Good morning. If you have a heart for art, you are going to want to stick around. We are live and local at the gallery below. We are having an arty party at the end of the month that you do not want to miss. That's coming up next. Welcome back to Fox Springwood Local News right now. This morning we are learning there is no need to spend money updating your wardrobe because from paint to trash bags, the fashion is forward. Right now, Lauren is live and local at the gallery below telling us all about it. Lauren, good morning. What is the earth worth? That is the question. And I have the answer right here at the gallery below, live and local. It's worth a whole lot because we are upcycling, we are recycling, and we are having a lot of fun. But that's not all they do here at the gallery below. There's an arty party coming up at the end of the month. We're going to tell you all about that trash and fashion. But it is also a space where local artists here in the Pikes Peak region can display their work. And I'm here with John Manager of the gallery below. We've got some local artists in, in with us this morning, so we're going to kind of introduce them. And and do a little talking, but tell everybody first, how can they get their artwork in the gallery below if they're interested in doing that? Uh, you just message me, uh, John B at the gallery below.com. Uh, just sit and shoot me a message or come on in, set up a, an appointment, and we can talk about showcasing your work. Very nice. All right, so we're here with Don, right? Yeah. So, so this, you go, so this go is ahead. Don, <laughs> this is Don A. She is a member of the a collective that hosts Artie Party here at the gallery below. She's working on some mono prints that she teaches at Bemis Art School, and she's not making great work for us. Very nice. So, Don, kind of explain the process of this. This is really cool to look at. Um, I really enjoy this process of mono printing because you can incorporate things like recycled paper and recycled cheap house paint. Um, I really believe in making art that's accessible and doable and this is just one of those things that doesn't take a lot to get some great results. Very nice. I need an art lesson for you from you, that's for sure. All right, next we're coming over here and we're looking at some baby doll parts, right? Yeah. This is yeah. actually going to go towards the arty party that you're having at the end of the month. Yes, this will be a part of the uh, piece in the trash fashion show. It'll be a baby doll dress made of actual baby dolls. <laughs> and uh, you and I, my friend, are going to collaborate on that in a little bit, right? We'll be doing some awesome stuff with baby dolls, which I love finding old, broken toys and giving them new life. Occasionally we make them light up with black light. Very fun. And I told you earlier, it kind of makes, it reminds me of Toy Story, the yeah. kid next door. If you think of the Sid, I think his name Sid was from Toy Story, if you were to cross his sculptures with a drag queen, you would get this. There you go. I love it. So much fun. And I cannot wait to work on that baby doll head skirt. And last but not least, we have this table of fine artists here. So tell me what's going on here, John. So here we've got some more members of the Eclective working on some uh, recycled fashion and art for the show on April 24th at the Social 719. Very nice. And that is all going to be part of the arty party. This is actually a heart? Am yes. I allowed to say that yeah, yet? Heart. Right? You want to kind of explain how you made this come together? Uh, so we had some of this foam uh, that seemed like a good base and so we're just going to uh, probably cover it with some paper mache and then you'll have to come see the fashion show to see what it comes up. There you go. I'm super excited to do that. That fashion show happening Tuesday, April 24th, 6 p.m. at The Social. And tickets are $10 to make sure you guys come on out and support a great cause. We're going to tell you what that cause is going to support in a little bit. Very exciting. <laughs> Big news with the ladies from Who Gives a Scrap. So we're going to have to Woo! stay tuned for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, love when, those ladies. when are we going to paint bodies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're painting bodies soon. We've got uh, Ty over there. And uh, okay. he is getting that head done right now. <laughs> so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lord, <laughs> thanks. <laughs>
720. Van Gogh big or Van Gogh home. We're doing it all here. Live and local at the gallery below. Body painting live. You do not want to miss it. It's all in celebration of Earth Month and a big arty party. That's next. When you can just paint an outfit on, Craig? <laughs> That's the big question, yes. And Laura McDonald, live and local right now at the gallery below in Old Colorado City. Learning all you need is uh, some paint and a brush, Lauren. <laughs> That's what they say, Craig. <laughs> so, quick story. We got John, we got Ty, and we got Meredith. And Ty came in today for the live shot. And he says, you know, my friends have been complaining about the reflection in my scalp that they see, right? Mainly John was complaining about that. <laughs> so we decided we had to do something about it. And that's where the body painting comes in here, live and local at the gallery below. We're giving a shot at Van Gogh, right? And you know what? Skin is in. It's time to love the skin you're in. So, Meredith, you're an artist here in town out of Manitou, right? Kind mm -hmm. of a, tell us what's going on here and what you do. Well, basically, I, use, I am a face painter, body painter. I've been doing this for about um, almost 15 years or so. Um, I'm, can I mention my... Go I'm, for it. I'm Pink Rabbit Face and Body Art. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on Facebook. But basically what I'm doing is I took his scalp and I've used uh, made for specifically face painting uh, paints. So I'm, we've used uh, Van Gogh's uh, Cafe Terrace. And this is what it's based off of. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it looks amazing. Why, thank you. Thank yeah. You. How does it feel, Ty? That's it feels question. good. Really? It's you really love nice. it? nice, yep. Very nice. Why don't you give us a little head twirl there? Yes. <laughs> love that. And this took about how long, Mary? Uh, we started around uh, 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, mm -hmm. We took a break, obviously, and then, then we came back and say about two hours. And that's good. And let me tell you something. I was just joking. We love the bald head. <laughs> thank right? you. The bald. Thank yes, you, you work it very yeah. well. Bald is in. That's what I said. Love the skin you're in. So you actually do full body art. Yes. So I asked you earlier, the people, what do they wear besides um, your paint? Besides your paint, we actually, uh, there are undergarments that you mm -hmm. can use. You can use underwear, also pasties. Right. For men, of course, they would probably use boxers. But definitely, skin is in, and I love painting on it because, there you, go. you know, you have, it's a challenge to paint on moving targets. But oh, I'm sure. yes, I, I do enjoy it, and hopefully, it shows my art. Very cool. Yeah, you're, you're very talented for sure. So tell everybody, John, where this arty party is happening. It's actually a theme of. Fashion, trashin, right? Trash and fashion. Yes, and it's yes. going to be rocking. Actually, you have uh, body painters at all of your events, usually for the arty parties, right? Yeah, body painting has been a consistent staple of, of the arty party. This time is no exception. We're going to be at the Social 719 on April 24th, starting at 6 o'clock. Tickets are $10. You come out and see some great fashion, some great body painting, mm -hmm. and you can make some art. There you go. We love it. Uh, definitely doing some big waste management here this morning. Let's give it up for Ty Meredith and all the other local artists here. As I said, guys, time to love the skin you're in and take pride in your paint. What do you think? I think you should give it a whirl. What are you going to paint on? What, I'm not bald. Well, she said that you can paint other areas. Craig, we can do other things on you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying she you can she's, do anybody, she's right? An artist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All shapes, all sizes. <laughs> it's gonna be a party. An arty party. So call an arty party on Craig. All right. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I've got a glue stick and I have gone mad. Now you've probably heard about a baby doll dress, but what about a dress made out of babies? We are live and local, gonna tell you all about it. That's coming up next. <laughs> I can't follow that. I give up. Oh, man. Okay, I'll try to do the seven day forecast and make it as exciting as a dress of babies. When we return, you're watching Fox 21 Local News right now. Here in the Pikes Peak region, supporting art in the form of painting, sketching, sculpting, and so much more like baby dresses. Yeah. Dresses made of babies. They're baby dresses, yes, made of babies, yes. <laughs> uh, this morning, right now, we celebrate all forms of art. Right down Lauren McDonald, live and local in Old Colorado City at the gallery below. Lauren, good morning. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but we got baby face playing in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows it but me. <laughs> so we're not there yet. 
We're not talking about baby face. Oh. We are talking about baby faces, though, on dresses. And let me tell you something. You need to rock that baby doll dress. And we literally mean baby doll dress. <laughs> right here with Josh and John. Fashion Trash and Show happening at the end of this month. It is an artsy partsy. Right? Yep. That you guys are having yeah. an arty party. Not an artsy party, but it works. Arty party. All right, so this dress, Josh, is your idea, right? It, it is. So what we started with is we made the basic dress out of uh, scraps of fabric that mm -hmm. were salvaged. And then we are attaching doll parts to it to have a really wonderful, weird, kooky doll dress moment on the runway at Scrap the Catwalk on the 24th of this month at right. the social. At the social. Tickets are $10. 10 bucks. This is a collaboration with Pikes Peak Community College, right? It is. So Pikes Peak Community College is having a trash art competition. Their theme is wearable art, but it doesn't have to be wearable art. So any of the kids that win that contest that have wearable art are going to be featured in our fashion show and if they do art that's not wearable they'll be featured here at the gallery below so we're pretty excited to teach kids about sustainability and realizing that just because it's outlived its use for one person doesn't mean that it can't be turned into something amazing by somebody else. We've been else. talking about it all day. Waste management. Yep. That's the finest, right? Yeah. All right, so John, we have our, our model blue here, and she's actually wearing another piece that's going to be in this trash and show, right? Yeah, so scrap the catwalk happening at the Social 719 on April 24th at 6 p.m. Uh, we'll feature a fabulous garment made out of solo cups. Yes, Here, I cannot believe colors. that. Give us a little twirl there, Blue. <laughs> you are working it, looking so good. How does it feel? Oh. It's I, it's comfy. It's a little stabby. I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> stabby. There you go. Well, you are rocking it for sure. It looks like something out of the 60s, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Sustainable fashion, folks. That is not going to cost you an arm or a leg. How about that? And we got to finish this off. I found this little doll. Craig, you're going to be part of this dress, except for <laughs> this is Ken with a C. Hey. Uh, hey. That looks We're like going to put him on here. Yeah, totally. Because, Craig, yeah. we know you want to be part of that arty partet. Where, where are you going to put my head? Right in the middle of all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> You are just tucked in tight there, looking all sharp. Lauren, do you think they'll let me borrow that for my next date? <laughs> hey, Abby, I think you need to host the uh, the awards thing we're doing soon in this outfit. Yeah. That you will good. rock it, girl. Oh mm -hmm. my God, what is she wearing? <laughs> right? Her baby we'll heads. That. It's gonna be cool. Top Thanks. of the town. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> The gallery below is the place to go for wearable art from your head to your toes. That's where, what, where we are live and local previewing a big art party you do not want to miss. That's coming up next. 842, welcome back. This morning we are learning there's no need to spend money updating your wardrobe from paint to trash bags. The fashion is forward. Right now, Lauren McDonald live and local at the gallery below telling us all about it. Lauren, good morning. Check it out. I want you to grab your stash of trash and get ready for one heck of a bash because it is happening at the end of this month, an arty party full of trashy fashion. And we mean that in a really beautiful way, right? So we are talking about a fashion show made completely of upcycled goods, a partnership between Who Gives a Scrap and the gallery below. A lot of local artists in the community. So we've got John, we have Jane, and we have Josh, the three J's, right? Yay! Collaborating together. So tell everybody about this arty party and what it's going to benefit. Very big announcement for everybody in the community, right? Well, we as the Eclective, the gallery below, and Who Gives a Scrap are going to collaborate to put on this great show of, again, showing people how to reuse, repurpose, and upcycle. As you know, our shop is full of items that we get donated, and again, we're going to turn those into amazing fashions for the runway. Mm -hmm. and. We are collaborating with the gallery below and the collective. Right, gonna open yeah. a, a new space soon. We're looking and to what Artie Party has uh, expanded, so we're not only moving into the the the, the social seven one nine on April twenty on twenty fourth at six o'clock for the larger party. We're looking to move into a larger warehouse space to host 
the gallery and the collective and who gives a scrap just on a, on a longer term and a larger scale. All in one place, all the art you could imagine and all of the proceeds from the fashion show made completely of trash is going to go towards this, right? Yeah, we are going to be raising funds to open a new space that will be maker space, mm -hmm. artist studio space, classrooms, uh, art supply retail space, as well as a huge gallery and event space to showcase a collective and all the other local artists making really cool stuff. There you go, Artie Party happening April 24th, Tuesday, 6 p.m. You want to get in because it is going to be high clash, trashy fashion, just like this piece right here, trash to treasure, uh, glitter to glitter, and garbage to glamour, right? Garbage we love to it. Glamour. I love it. Live and local here at the gallery below all morning. Make sure you guys check it out on Facebook. Uh, yep, our, our all the information's on the Who Gives a Scrap Facebook page and also on the gallery below Facebook page. Scrap so, the runway. Scrap, scrap, scrap the, the catwalk. catwalk. Scrap the catwalk. <laughs> scrap the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> out and I like it. Life is too short to wear boring clothes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Arty party. It just sounds fun. Trashy, it's our style. I love it. <laughs> yes, that's great. Yeah.